Kyle and Nicholas Maloney. Now, I've been following Kyle. You didn't know that, huh? Uh, his career with first and all of that. Wow. Um, but not knowing that he's family and found out that, you know, it's not pumpkin vine. You know, you have pumpkin vine family, but real blood family. And I'm just so excited. <laughs> and now you're back because yeah. you're doing wonderful things with Tech Beach mm -hmm. Retreat. And we're supposed to be hooking up with Kirk Anthony Hamilton, co-founder of Tech Beach. And he's based in Jamaica. Yeah, he is. So we're going to join him on Skype. But Kyle, welcome back. No, well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And tell <laughs> us about Tech Beach. So the goal of Tech Beach really is to bring together uh, the diaspora in a way mm -hmm. that allows them to tap into mm -hmm. to, to tap into the Caribbean. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah, camera? Camera. Yeah. So many cameras. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So to allow the to allow the diaspora to tap into the Caribbean right. in a way that they haven't been able to before, uh, specifically focused on the tech industry. Right. Yeah. And so we've been able to bring together some amazing people. Every year we have over 60 speakers that attend Tech Beach. 60 speakers. Yeah, that yeah. attend Tech Beach from across like almost every country in the region, as well as people who are just interested in mm -hmm. working with people in the region. Uh, and so, but you've had people from Twitter, like yeah. you've had the founder. Yeah, of yeah, Twitter. yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. So that's incredible. And and interestingly enough, he used to come to Trinidad with his mom mm -hmm. uh, up until the age of 15. Actually, he went to Tobago. Yes. I think his mom had a little somebody in Tobago. Oh my gosh, that's Valentine. <laughs> that's, okay. that's true. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's sweet, you know? Yeah, yeah. Right. So. So yeah, and, and that's what caused him to go there. And he was like, he's never been to Jamaica before. And so I met him in a coffee shop actually in San Francisco yeah. and convinced him to come to Tech Beach. And right. that was only in our second year. Wow. Yeah. And who have you had since then? And so this year we'll be having uh, the head of new mobility from Uber. Mm -hmm. He has like a billion dollar budget. His goal right. is to really innovate Uber in a big way. Yeah. Uh, we'll potentially be having the global head of diversity from Google this year. Right. Google is our headline title partner, which wow. is an amazing feat. Yeah. Especially and we call this segment Leaders of Now, by the way. <laughs> I forgot to say that. Got all caught up. Yeah, yeah. because uh, you are doing it now. Yeah. Yeah. So Google yeah. is your headliner. Yeah. Right? And who are some of the others? Well, so we'll be having a VP of engineering from Twitter. He's actually mm -hmm. a trade Indian guy. Right. Uh, so quite a number of people from uh, a lot of the major technology companies that you're familiar with. Airbnb, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. So this yeah. is like the, you guys are cultivating the tech conference event yeah. in the Caribbean. That, yeah. that is the go-to event that everybody yeah. wants to go to. Yeah, definitely. Because you have tech events all over the world, right? Definitely, but this is definitely. the only one of its kind in the Caribbean. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. in terms of in terms of the, the caliber and the quantity of people that we bring and the environment that we bring them to. Mm -hmm. And our goal really isn't to have a big event in terms of the number of people that come. Right. The goal really is to have a very impactful event. Mm -hmm. And so the people that attend Tech Beach are really generally about one to two degrees of separation from the founders, which is interesting because we don't, it's not like a broadly marketed sort of thing. We capped the event at, a, at 350 people mm -hmm. uh, with the goal of ensuring that each of these people connect each other and actually do business. Yes. And we've done a statistic at the end of, of the event, and we found that over 60% of people do business with each other mm. from attending Tech Beach. Right. And the amount of conferences you go to, you know the num that yeah. number is really high. Yeah. 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 And, and who are you targeting? Like, who would benefit from going to this conference? So our general attendee uh, audience breaks down into three segments. Yeah. One is the entrepreneurs. So generally startups from around the region. So we have a really big contingent from the UECS, um, some companies from Martinique, uh, from Bahamas actually, from yeah. uh, Guyana, uh, Jamaica obviously. That's the startup. The startup is really the core of what, what we're really doing this for. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the corporates. Yes. We have big attendance from corporates from around the region. So we have NCB in Jamaica is like one of our biggest partners. Yeah. Uh, we have First Citizens that will be attending this year. We have Caribbean Airlines who's been there every year with yeah. us. Yeah. yeah. So that's the sort of... Uh, this is wonderful. And then the third aspect is government. Yeah. Do we have the Skype on? Uh, Kirk Anthony Hamilton, co-founder of Tech Beach. I'm not sure if he's online, but if he is, he will join us. But there's a unique flavor to this tech beach yeah. there's a beach side of this technology conference right yeah, yeah yeah definitely definitely so we start the conference on so it's a three-day event thursday friday saturday we start on the beach yeah and lit by tiki's kind of thing letting Ooh. foreigners come in and feel a little caribbean vibe right right drinks are flowing all all the time because yeah. it's at an all-inclusive resort and so you have unlimited drinks and you have unlimited food and so people's inhibitions are a lot lower yeah. compared to when you go to a standard conference. Maybe yeah. if you're going at like a, 
a metropolitan sort yeah, of place, you yeah. know? Yeah. So you get to enjoy a bit of the Caribbean and still make, do business. Exactly. What exactly, else exactly. do you need? Let's ask Cook Anthony <laughs> Hamilton, who is joining us by Skype now from Jamaica. Uh, hello, Cook. Morning. Good morning, and congratulations on this event, which I think is tremendous. A brilliant idea. Tech Beach Very Retreat. Much. Yeah. I have with me on set Kyle Maloney, your co-founder, and hey, uh, and we were just hey, talking. What's up, buddy? We were just talking about you know how exciting it is to bring people around technology. About sixty percent of your participants do business together after the event, and uh, how how exciting is that? It's extremely exciting. I mean, just even listening to you and Kyle speak, you know, it it really aligns with this idea that what we've managed to do is leverage a lot of what the Caribbean has to offer to create a truly innovative experience inside of the conference world. And, you know, more and more we are getting, you know, recognitions for this from organizations like Forbes and such like that in yeah. terms of just the kind of environment that we've been able to culture. Mm -hmm. And as people are increasingly exposed to what we're offering, they're, they're seeing the value, and that's from both a, a local, regional, and international level. So, well, definitely you know, international. Definitely. If you have people like Google and uh, Airbnb and Uber and Twitter partnering with you on this. Yeah, for sure. Oh, for sure. And, and that's, that's always been the goal from the outset, was to be able to bring the world into the region in a way that, you know, at least we haven't seen so far, especially from this side of tech, which we know, you know, the digital realm is... is fast shifting everything yeah. and you know, Kyle and I just felt like there wasn't enough of a dialogue around not just how this affects our market but how do you take advantage of what is happening yes. how do people get to build profitable businesses around this and, and, and just truly take advantage of the overall offering of the of the digital era mm -hmm. and that is so important as we move into the fourth Industrial, industrial revolution, revolution because that's what it's about now indeed, you know indeed, indeed. doing business in this arena but we didn't say when it is yeah yeah when is it going to be excellent so yeah. it takes place december 5 to 7 right in montego bay jamaica at the ibero star resort yeah so yeah. it's the 5th to the 7th of december yeah and how do you get how do you participate do you go online is yeah. there a portal go to our website techbeach.net mm -hmm. and right now we have two events actually so we yeah. have one in bermuda yeah. that's focused on the development of the fintech industry in bermuda yeah and then we have jamaica which right. is december 5 to 7. okay so you can do both or it's yeah either or. definitely definitely you uh -huh. can do both and if you're yeah. interested in going to both events, we can have a special discount. Too. Right, right. Yeah. I didn't talk to Kirk about that yet. Though, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you just said it on national TV. So, Kirk, guess what? Uh, all right. So, are you going to do What was that, Kirk? I just said we'll have to do it. You'll have to do it. You'll have to do it. No, you can argue after the show. <laughs> all righty. Well, I am so excited about this. I'm going to check my calendar and see if I can actually come up for it because right. I think it, and but before we go I just wanted to say a little bit about you Kyle as leaders of now yeah. we usually give a little insight into who you guys are Kirk and Kyle um you did aerospace engineering yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah tell us a little bit so if I go all the way back a little bit um mm -hmm. well not too far back I went to CIC right. <laughs> and then from CIC I went to Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University is a mouthful yeah I know um and I studied aerospace engineering and while at university, uh, I started my own website together with my brother that allows students to buy and sell items from each other. And we made about three to four grand a month from that. Wow. And there was when Twitter and Facebook launched and we got the tech bug. And then our professors were like, you guys are entrepreneurs. You guys should start and continue going along this trend. And yeah. from there, like my it whole just trajectory whole, just, yeah, changed just changed entirely. What, ab what about you, Kirk? Tell us a little bit about your, your track. So I am, you know, as, as you mentioned, from Jamaica, but yeah. I'm an architectural designer turned entrepreneur <laughs> and investor in some capacity as well. Yeah. Um, I've been involved in, in a few ventures myself. Uh, I was a part of a private investment firm uh, when I was about 26 years old based out of Florida. And, and you know, that experience really drove um, a decent amount of what we're doing now for me, at least, because mm -hmm. we were you know, raising capital in the in the Caribbean, but investing into um, digital media companies in the U.S. And right. so I got, um, you know, kind of a twofold perspective and experience from, from doing that, both in terms of 
the challenges that we had, you know, raising capital in the market. And we did manage to raise a couple million dollars. Yeah. But then also, you know, we invested in these app development firms in the in the US with a growth plan of expansion into the into the Caribbean and you know some of the brick walls that we ended up hitting and this was back in 2012 right. but hitting those brick walls made me realize you know what we're not we're not moving at pace and I started to say to people you know words like innovation and disruption were going to become pitch words in the Caribbean which were they were back then in more developed markets right. but they were going to become pitch words in the Caribbean five years from now and so said so done you know if you look at where we are in 2019 I mean, I would never say that we're too late, but the reality is we're now getting to the space where the Caribbean is talking about the disruptive force of technology. Yes. You know, people are talking about innovating and yeah. such like that. So, you know, and you guys are doing your part to you guys are doing your part to speed it up a little bit at Tech Beach Retreat in Jamaica, uh, December fifth to the seventh. I'm really excited about that. Yeah. Thank you very much, Kirk Anthony Hamilton, for joining us. From live Thank from Jamaica. Thank you so much. And Kyle Maloney, <laughs> congratulations. I'm so super proud, super proud. Thank and I you. know even if it's one person that you inspired this morning, I'm sure you did. So keep up the good work. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, all right. We